The Indian Navy is set to conduct the first trial of its naval Panaka system later this year. Designed to enhance submarine countermeasure capabilities, the Panaka system will allow naval vessels to target underwater threats from a distance of up to 75 kilometers. Experts believe this trial could significantly improve India's maritime security, offering a strategic advantage by integrating long-range defense systems into naval operations. Initial reactions highlight its potential to reshape underwater defense strategies. The Indian Army has been spotted using Royal Enfield motorcycles to launch anti-tank guided missiles or ATGMs, marking a shift toward more flexible and mobile warfare strategies. This innovative approach, which aims to enhance asymmetric warfare capabilities, allows troops to quickly maneuver and deploy missile systems in challenging terrains. Initial reactions suggest this could offer the Army a tactical advantage, improving responsiveness and operational effectiveness in conflict zones. Tensions escalated when local residents attacked a Bangladesh Air Force base, following an altercation with soldiers. The incident occurred after a disagreement between the residents and the military personnel, leading to a violent confrontation. One person was reported dead as a result of the clash, prompting investigations into the cause of the altercation. Initial reactions from authorities suggest a need for heightened security measures to prevent further violence and ensure the safety of personnel and civilians. Six Bangladeshi nationals were apprehended by Indian authorities after they illegally crossed the border into Meghalaya. The individuals, who were reportedly en route to Mumbai, were intercepted by security forces during routine checks. Initial investigations suggest they had entered India without proper documentation. Authorities are now conducting further inquiries to determine the full extent of their activities, with initial reactions indicating increased vigilance to prevent illegal border crossings. India is exploring the potential of the Russian-made Su-57 fighter jet as a cost-effective alternative to the F-35 for the Indian Air Force. With the IF facing a rapidly shrinking fleet, the Su-57 could quickly address the squadron shortage, saving billions. Key figures from India's defense sector are advocating for this domestic option, which also holds promise for future exports, positioning India as a global player in advanced fighter jet production. Initial responses indicate growing support for this strategic shift. The Trump administration released $5.3 billion in previously frozen foreign aid, prioritizing security and counter-narcotics programs. Notable exemptions included $397 million to monitor Pakistan's F-16 use for counterterrorism and funds for arms sales and military assistance. While some humanitarian aid was allowed, like $500 million for President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief or PEPFAR, many programs related to crises in Sudan, Syria, and Afghanistan remained unfunded. Critics highlighted the minimal aid for humanitarian needs, aligning with Trump's America First agenda. General Electric, GE, has offered an upgraded variant of its F-414 engine, specifically designed for India's AMCA MK-1 fighter program. The F-414, GINS-6, which promises enhanced performance, will be key to the future of India's aerospace ambitions. GE Aerospace is also eager to collaborate with India's gas turbine research establishment, GTRE, to develop a more powerful engine core for the AMCA MK-2, an advanced fifth-generation fighter jet. This collaboration aims to produce an engine capable of generating over 110 kN of thrust, a significant improvement over the current engine models. The partnership would include sharing intellectual property rights, allowing both parties to contribute to the technological advancements required for the next-gen fighter jets. GE has committed to working closely with GTRE to provide the necessary technical expertise and support in engine development. The collaboration will focus on designing a high-performance core, tailored to meet the stringent requirements of the Indian Air Force. This joint effort aligns with India's ambitions to strengthen its domestic defense manufacturing capabilities while reducing dependence on foreign suppliers. The proposal comes at a time when the AMCA MK2 program is gaining traction, and the development of an indigenously produced engine could accelerate India's path toward self-reliance in defense technologies. The collaboration between GE and GTRE is expected to play a crucial role in the long-term success of India's advanced fighter jet programs. India has successfully concluded negotiations for the procurement of 7 billion euro worth of Rafale M fighter jets, 
marking a significant step in strengthening the Indian Navy's capabilities. The deal, which was finalized after extensive discussions, is set to supply 26 Rafale M aircraft to enhance India's naval defense. These aircraft will be equipped with cutting-edge Astra MK-1 and Meteor BVRAM, or Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air Missile Systems. The Indian Navy has prioritized the integration of these advanced missiles, which are crucial for enhancing the aerial combat potential of the Rafale M jets. The Meteor BVRAM, with its superior range and precision, will bolster the Navy's ability to counter airborne threats from long distances. In parallel, the Astra MK-1 missile will further strengthen the Indian Navy's capability to secure air superiority. This procurement deal underscores India's growing emphasis on modernizing its naval assets and aligning them with the latest technological advancements. The Rafale M jets, known for their proven combat effectiveness, will play a pivotal role in India's strategic naval operations. The finalized deal is expected to improve the Navy's overall combat readiness and provide enhanced operational flexibility in maritime defense. The integration of advanced missile systems, particularly the Meteor and Astra, marks a crucial milestone in India's vision to enhance its defense self-reliance while ensuring cutting-edge technological upgrades for its armed forces. Experts have proposed that India could save billions by selecting a domestically manufactured Su-57 fighter jet instead of opting for the F-35, addressing the Indian Air Force's urgent need to replenish its dwindling squadron numbers. With the IF facing a shortage of fighter jets, the Su-57, a fifth-generation aircraft, could be produced at a much lower cost than the F-35, making it a viable solution for rapidly filling gaps in the IF's fleet. The decision to prioritize the Su-57 would not only enable quicker deployment of advanced fighters, but could also provide India with an opportunity to export the aircraft to other nations, thus enhancing the country's position as a key global arms exporter. The Su-57 is expected to be more cost-effective than the F-35, which is known for its high price tag and operational expenses. This potential shift toward the Su-57 aligns with India's broader defense strategy of strengthening its self-reliance in military technology. Initial reactions from defense analysts suggest that opting for the Su-57 would be a strategic move to reduce reliance on foreign imports and modernize India's air force at a fraction of the cost. The plan also opens doors for further technological advancements and international collaborations in the defense sector, strengthening India's aerospace capabilities in the long run. The Indian Ministry of Defense has reaffirmed its commitment to fostering collaboration between the public and private sectors for the development of the AMCA, India's fifth-generation fighter jet. The project, aimed at enhancing the nation's air defense capabilities, has gained significant momentum with key players emerging from both sectors. Tata Group has been identified as a potential major contributor, with its expertise and resources positioning it as a crucial player in the AMCA's production and development. The project, which began in earnest several years ago, seeks to replace the aging fleet of fighter jets with a modern, indigenously developed solution. Over the past few months, the Defense Ministry has focused on strengthening its relationship with private companies to bolster the production of this sophisticated aircraft. Initial reactions have highlighted the enthusiasm for the joint effort, with both government and private sector leaders expressing optimism about the synergy between the two. The partnership aims to combine the government's technical and strategic resources with the efficiency and innovation of private companies, marking a significant shift in India's defense procurement approach. If successful, the MCA project could not only enhance India's defense infrastructure, but also serve as a model for future public-private collaborations in the defense sector. That's all from YKS team for now. Hope you liked today's video. Please subscribe our channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.